this is kind of interesting and I want to show you guys this and like I said this is one of many strikes on Ray William Johnson's account but I often get hit with the argument from the Ray William Johnson fanboys and just people that hate me that you know Ray William Johnson leaves like you know a link in the video description for the person so you know Cuckoo's video here got linked over in the video description and I just want to show you what type of popularity that brings when Ray William Johnson features your content and puts a little link in the video description alright this is CC's channel let's um just show you it is okay let's show you um let's see how much his sub count bounced up from being featured in a Ray William Johnson video wow holy shit 366 subs maybe his videos are getting a lot of views let's see here and no, that's about 29 views that one's a week ago 137 views and it's a 214 okay um you see what I'm saying here people Ray William Johnson is making thousands of dollars off of stealing people's content and what do people get in the long run they get what an initial bump from the video that he used that he put a link in the video description no one gets any long-term success from this shit other than Ray he's getting filthy rich off of being a goddamn jitbag thief you douchebag that is all by stealing you mean reviewing right anyway if you actually take a look at Kugu's channel you'll notice that he does have a video that was featured in that video he flagged the problem it's not his and even if it was, how exactly would an old viral video that isn't popular anymore would give his most recent videos more views anyway?